Okay, what's up guys? It is Bean here. We are on the 250 now instead of the 450. As much as I like riding the 450 and cause you know, it's just stupid fast. Um, I do enjoy riding my 250 more. Uh, cause it's lighter. I don't have to worry about throttle control as much. I can just kind of, oh, if it bogs, it doesn't work, but. And that's so much more fun, I think. And it makes a lot more noise. <laughs> I mean, it almost feels like it does feel a fair amount slower than the 450 i'll be honest i mean i also do have a much bolder tire on the back like the tread's starting to peel off for some reason on the 452 i noticed it's kind of difficult to shift into second gear getting up to speed instantly on the 450 and not being able to just rip. That's why I'd love just banging through the gears on this thing. What happened? What? Did it like go too fast and then get over here? <laughs> that was the only way it would get out. We got this lake bit over here guys. Apparently we're forbidden from riding on it. It's illegal, I guess. Because it produces some kind of toxic chemical in the air or something. I don't really know. But it's pretty freaking cool looking. <laughs> oh, careful. Oh, no, don't go down. Save it. <laughs> I did. Let's continue being silent. <laughs> We're gaining speed. We. <laughs> this is so fun. Ah. Oh.
Definitely like a cop or something. What is that? Dude, I thought that guy in the truck was gonna want to talk to you or something. Cause he pulled out right as he hopped on the road. I thought he was like an undercover cop or something. Let's do it. So guys, I wasn't recording this. God, I'm so sad right now. Um, I was going on this freaking uh, salt or this riverbed and um, I was going full throttle and I'm like, this feels a lot slower than normal and um, freaking blew up the motor. I just chucked the dipstick. <laughs> um, it's not like, it has oil so I know I didn't lose oil. I was thinking about changing it before this trip, but I smelled it and looked at it, and I'm like, it doesn't look bad at all, so I left it. Um, it's not seized, but you can, that does not sound right, obviously. Um, man, I didn't catch it on video, though, but, oh my god, dude. Um, Did it have, like, an explosion thing? Like no, it's just dying. Like, I lost power, and that's what everybody notices. Before their CRF 250Rs blow up, or just most dirt bikes in general, you notice a significant power loss. I'm like, wow, I am not much faster than Anthony's 85 right now. And um, yeah, really and, I, and then we got like the same speed. And then I let off the gas. Bike stalled, bumped it, stalled, stalled, stalled. I heard the, like something in the motor just die. Um, but it's not seized, so that means the blow up wasn't as bad. <sighs> but I am I am done dirt biking for a long time, guys. Like, the compression's been lower than normal. You know, that's like how hard it is to kickstart it. And it's been really easy to kickstart lately, but it hasn't always started super easily. And uh, right before I went riding, like 10 minutes ago is like when we started riding, um, I noticed the bike was really difficult to start. And when, I, when it started, it died. Uh, and I had to start again. I had to rev it to keep it up. But yeah, so my uncle's going to come rescue me. And uh, I mean, I guess I could ride his bike, but this thing, this is done. I don't know guys, um, you're not going to see any dirt biking content for a long time, so I'm really sorry, but this is going to give me more of an excuse to mountain bike more, that's for sure. But man, I'm going to miss dirt biking for while my bike's dead. Oh my god, dude, this is horrible. I mean, nothing looks out of the ordinary here. I have plenty of oil, and it's not bad oil, so that wasn't the issue. Wow, I just, dude, I can't believe this. I'm really, oh my god, I'm really sad.